Hey students, this is Mr. Anderson. I'm um, wanting to make some videos here on some of the harder problems. A few people have been saying they've had some uh, difficulties getting started. Which, I mean, it's, it's understandable. So what we're going to do, we're going to work on problem P6-1. Okay, we're going to work on making a uh, pictorial, an isometric pictorial. Now, this is in Chapter 6 of the Engineering Graphics Essentials with AutoCAD 2020 instruction. Now, what we have to do first is we need to set our grids up for isometric snap. So, we type in SN, well, get that there, SN for snap, enter. We hit the down arrow and we can scroll down to style. Okay, we click there. And we scroll the button down to isometric. You can also click on it. I'm going to keep the spacing at 0.5. And there we go. We have that set up for isoplane right, nope, left. Isoplane left, which is fine. So, we're going to draw our base. So, we go down. Let's see. We're going to end up zooming in here because that's not... Uh... I'm going to start off with that 30 degrees downward. Hit the tab button, 30. Make sure that's there. And then we go... Get to my page. I've been flipping back and forth. Here we are. So it's a uh, two inch by three inch base. So there's the two. And then we go up 30 degrees, make the three. We go back over this away to 150. So we hit the tab 150, tab two. And then we hit C for close. There we go. Next, instead of doing that again, I'm just going to copy 0.5 straight up. Okay, so there's that. Next, we're going to make the lines for the base. We have to uh, make a radius there, and we'll work on that here in a moment. So now, we're going to go 0.5, because it's one by a 0.5 thick. Oops. Make it 0.5. One. And back up to 0.5. That's not what I wanted to do. Let me get these out of the way because they distract me. Because they're not needed anymore. Let's go this way. And go down. Okay, 150. Tab, 1. I'm going to go across to here. 0.5. And back up there. Ah. Two, one. The snaps are wanting to grab hold of these corners. So sometimes I just turn the snaps off. It's not going to kill anything. Oops. Now we go to the line. It's two up from the base, so what it's going to be is 1.5, because the base is already 0.5. Now we can do it this way, 1, because that's at 150. Draw this line down. Take 
this line, pick it up 150. What? <laughs> I must have fat fingered that one. Let's do this again. Oops. Okay. Uh, yeah, I did 150 instead of 1.5. See, it did exactly what I told it to do, not what I wanted it to do. As is typically the problems with machines. So we're going to hit the tab button and tell it 90. And then 1.5. And I'm just going to copy this guy over instead of fighting with the snaps. Okay. Next, we're going to draw our ellipse on these. So, we type in EL. There's ellipse. Okay, we're going to hit the down arrow button. We're going to make an ISO circle. Specify center of ISO circle. There's the center of that one. Okay, so it says radius. So the radius is going to be 0.5. Well, look at that. What happened? Well, maybe what I need to do is go down here and change that from isoplane left to isoplane right. So let me try this again. E L down arrow ISO circle. There's the center. Okay. There it is right there. 0.5. Now let me hide this one or delete this one. And you can see that's exactly what I need. So we're going to take that one and copy it to here. I'm going to go down here to my snaps and make sure tangent is chosen. Okay. So then I have to draw a line. I need to turn my snaps off. Or that snap to. Here we go. Turn that guy back on. And there's that. So now we're going to trim here and here and here. Everything I need to trim. Well, let's try this again. Trim, I need to select. Actually, I'm just going to select everything there. So I don't need to see that. I don't need to see that one. Or, okay, that one will have to be deleted. I'm going to leave that there because I need to draw that other through circle. I forgot about that one. So that's a diameter of 5. So let's do 
EL, ellipse, okay, arrow down, ISO circle, specify center of circle, it's right there, and then we tell it 0.25 because it's asking for radius, or I could arrow down and it'll ask for diameter. Yeah, there's diameter right there. So I can tell that the diameter is 0.5. And there's that. Now, to see if this is going to be visible on the other side, I can do this right here. I can copy, and I can move it. Nope, it's not going to be visible on the other side, so I don't have to do that. So now, I can delete that. And I can delete that. Next, we need to do the circle over here. And we need to do that radius. So, what we do is go over here and we're going to isoplane top. So now, our iso circle is going to be in the correct orientation here on this plane here. Okay, we have one up here as well. So I need to draw the center lines for that. And it appears that both of them are 0.5 in and 0.5 from the edge. So that's fairly easy. So, go over here. I'm going to find that, 0.5. I'm going to come down. And tab one five zero. Okay. Now I can delete that line because we don't need it. Next, we're going to draw this one. Point five and tell it tab one five zero and that's good right there. That gives me a center line for that circle. And then we have a center line for this circle by going here point five and this away. Tab one five zero, and there's the, the center line for that circle. So now those circles are diameter of fifty or point five zero. So here we go. E L. Let's see lips. Arrow down. Iso circle. Center point. Okay, we're going to hit arrow down for diameter and 0.5. Next, we're going to just copy that one from here to here. And then the next one we're going to do, EL, down arrow, ISO circle, specify center, there's our center, our radius is 0.5. Now, then I can take this and copy. Copy that line right there, and then we trim. Let me go ahead and get rid of some of these extra lines here. Okay. I'm going to trim this one first. Well, 
this is saying it doesn't intersect, but it sure looks like it does. So, I'm going to, oh, that was one of the lines that I had drawn. So now I have to trim this guy on its own. Okay. See if it'll, nope, it won't let me trim this. So we're going to trim again. Hit that, that, and that. Select. One click here. One click there. One click there. And that's how you get the drawing. What we'll do then is go to the, the Imperial title block. I need to get out of that command. Okay. Activate the viewport. Z, enter, A, enter. There's that. I know the instructions say 80%, but uh, in this case, uh, well, actually, that's, uh, that's a one-to-one -one right there. Get rid of your grid lines. And for scale, I'm going to say full. For assignment, we're going to say P6-1. And I think for date, the way we have it set up, I think we can hit update field. And there it is. 410 2020. So there you have it. Hope this helps you out. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, um, any criticisms. You know, be uh, constructive. I'm not graceful as far as uh, public speaking, but. I try to do my best. So thank you very much for listening and watching, and I hope you learned something. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.